the Celtics lead the Wizards two games to one. Of game three, they led 34 to 12 at one point. Al Horford, it's a long two-pointer, but that is a part of his game that has settled down this Celtics team. Pick and pop, Markeith Morris sticks it. This was like a Lindsay Lohan parent trap theme. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas from deep. And that's a great sign here early. Your two big guns, Horford and Isaiah, settling down this Celtics group here on the road. Houston's initial punch, and now the Celtics in front. Isaiah Thomas from long range. And a lot of it's been their transition defense. They've done a good job of when they've had turnovers, and they've also contained Wall here as he's able to get the ball in there to feel easy deuce there. So we are tied at 12. Wall right down the middle. Nice pass to Porter. He's also got his shot to three ball pretty well here in this series as Isaiah comes off and drains another triple there. Mahimi keeps it alive, but Jarepko is there. Thomas, the jumper goes. Isaiah Thomas, perfect from three-point territory. Four of four from beyond the arc. He's got 12. And that's another three off of that offensive rebound. Oh, Isaiah Thomas is lethal. Five of five from three-point land. And credit Brad Stevens. He has changed his lineup. He's got not that force the inadvertent pass. Bogdanovich telegraphed it. And Isaiah Thomas protecting himself as Wall was trying to get in front of him. 17 for Thomas. Morris, a corner jump. Rims out on a three. Mahimi couldn't catch it initially. Diagonal feet. Bogdanovich went four of seven from three-point territory in game three. Al Horford, bullseye. It's a three. Marc Gasol and Brooke Lopez. Bigs that are now three-point shooters. Wall harassed by Smart after the turnover and a foul. Yeah, and, and I think a lot of it also is coaching because if John Wall finally comes through. And having said that, though, if you're watching, you, you got to feel good. I mean, for two. And that's a positive sign. And that's the one thing about the truly great ones. John Wall doesn't play the game as if he's 0 for 9. You know, his attack mentality. Shields, step back, Jay. Bottom. And this is one issue with Amir Johnson. Not quite as good at containing the quickness of John Wall, who is kind of having his way here in this second quarter for the Wizards. It's an 11-2 Washington run. The spin. Oh, what a center to Gorton! <laughs> the roll to the rim, and John Wall has got incredible vision. It's not that he makes the spectacular play. It's how easily he goes about doing it. That was not an easy after the miss by Crowder. Wall takes it in. John Wall hard to the hole. I, I just don't know. And jump shot for Wall. Bottom. It's a triple. Washington back in front, 48 to 46. Thomas wheels inside and a foul called. Thomas. A switch, Gortat has him on the perimeter. Thomas gets around him. Gets it to Horford on the interior. Isaiah Thomas. Great struggle early. Got into a rhythm and got his team back in the game. Really good job defensively, and Isaiah responds as he turns it over there to Wall. Wall intercepts the bounce pass. Wall is a blur. He's got a couple extra gear. No luck. Courts off the catch and the delivery. John Wall with eyes in the back of his head. Nobody does it any better than John Wall. Sticks it. It's a three. And just another great read there. There was nobody to rotate. The Celtics have been stymied. And John Wall accelerates to the hoop. Opportunity for three. You heard Charles Barkley at halftime talk about John Wall maybe being the second best point guard in the league and arguably the second best player in this Eastern Conference. And I'm here to tell you with how he's performed this postseason, he is letting there be Wall. Oh, ball handling wizardry. John Wall finds the angle. Wall 
the no look shovel. He's a highlight machine. Otto Porter with a finish. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is playing the point guard position on both ends any better than John Wall. Late to get back. Wall intercepted by Green. And Thomas was already in the right spot as he lays it in. And that a little bit of carelessness here, carelessness here to start. Morris pulls the trigger and connects. It's a three. Off a curl, and Morris just step backs and delivers. Smart answers with a triple. Washington is shooting it at 73% in the third quarter. Bradley Beal, it's a three. And that's one of the easier looks. Foul called. Easy. Oh, Lennox got his hands on it, tracked down by Bogdanovich. And a reset for the Wizards. Yeah, they, they seem to have gotten to every loose ball here. John in this Wall. third quarter. Sorry, partner. He is going to the free throw line. Morris, the layup goes down. Washington on the brink of cracking 150% from the field. Rozier with a purpose. Rebounds his own miss. But Beal steps in front of Olenek for another steal. Wall, the cutter. Extra feed. Porter surrounded there. Morris and refused to let the smooth taste fool you with John Wall. Well, this nice find of Otto Porter. Smith on the outside. Wall to Bogdanovich with six to shoot the fadeaway. Yes. That is a tough shot by Boyan right there. Speed to the baseline. The layup goes for Bogdanovich. Do we ask Scott Brooks? Did you talk to John Wall about your dynamic with Russell Westbrook? He said no. And that's it. The Washington Wizards have even this Eastern Conference semifinal series at two games apiece. They came out great defensive intensity, and you missed your first nine shots. They got up by ten. How did you stay in the game mentally? Uh, it was an easy shot. Layups I missed, a couple wide open shots. But for us to win, I have to be aggressive offensively. Um, I had a lot of shots at halftime, but I still wanted to be aggressive, get my teammates involved, and a couple shots started to go down. Speaking of the half, it was tied. Then they, they go up by five to start the second half, and then you guys go 26-0. What got that started and what kept it going? Well, you know, first play they got a foul and Mir didn't hit a corner three. But uh, we just did great defensively. And the way we played defensively that whole third quarter is the reason why we had this win. And that's the reason why we won the last two games. We have to find a way to bring that same defense intensity on the road and we'll be fine. I was going to say, you have to win one in Boston. They don't have to win one here. How do you win one? You know I mean, we, both games we played there, we had a 14, 12 point lead. We just let the crowd get back into it. We just started taking bad shots. Uh, the way we played defensively, we play that way. Over there, we'll be fine. We feel like we can get one if we play that way.